All right, big news, of course, I-20 still shut down from Industrial Drive in Bossier City to Goodwill Road in Webster Parish. Several crashes and stalled vehicles left dozens of people stuck in that traffic for hours yesterday into last night. Many were forced to abandon their vehicles and were rescued. KSL News 12's Destiny Patterson tells us why the Department of Transportation says it's simply too hazardous to reopen it. Just to get out of my neighborhood, my car was slipping and sliding all over the road and state officials are warning against travel in order to prevent a repeat of last night on I-20. I came to a stop and then I didn't move for like four hours. Uh, I moved, we probably moved like 500 feet and then we didn't move again for like six hours. Cade McConathy was one of more than 40 people stuck overnight on I-20 East on Tuesday. The situation on I-20 overnight was, you know, very serious. People were out there for hours, um, you know, stranded on the interstate. And now the following day, the Department of Transportation is warning people not to travel. At the risk of sounding like a broken record, you know, of course, we're still just asking people to not get out. The road conditions are only continuing to get worse. Travel conditions are still horrible but um, we're doing the best that we can right now. Then you start to see that snow just packed down on top of a layer of ice. It's definitely time to be safe and be in four wheel drive. When we sent out communications saying that they were, we consider them all to be impassable, that's what we meant. The Department of Transportation tells me that they plan to start de-icing and salting the roads again once it gets above freezing. Reporting in Bossier City, I'm Destiny Patterson, KSLA News 12.